Hey, what's going on, Billy AZ Prospector? Just uh, airing up my tire real quick, getting ready to hit the road. It's 4.30 in the morning, and I'm hitting up a place that uh, I haven't been in in a long time. This is probably about eight years ago I found this mine up in the Superstition Mountains. So, trying to get an early start before the sun comes up and uh, hit the trailhead before we get too much foot traffic and uh, got people seeing where I'm headed. So, hope you enjoy the, uh, Enjoy joining me for the ride today. superstitions like I was saying it's been a minute since I've been out here even the parking area changed there used to be a spot where there was only two spots a vehicle could stay and I've got a whole little parking section but made it before the sun's coming up and Trying to go a little bit faster before these people behind us catch up. Yeah. All right, guys. Taking you up to another cave system. Not a system, but. Old inhabited dwelling. The way I know that you've got these pestle holes right here they were living back in here back in the day but what's awesome is the view Always want to keep an eye out. We found some pottery shards just a little bit ago, but look at these little kind of hollowed out overhangs. Sometimes you'll find pottery artifacts and stuff like that. And we're just following the trail, bushwhacking. What's that? Yep.
come down a little bit. Follow it down a little bit that way. It's snaky today, guys. So it's kind of crazy going through this brush. Yeah, we gotta do some bushwhacking. Yeah, and then uh, we'll get over right over there and then we'll jump back on. Yeah, we gotta go down, cut across here. Okay. I'll try. I'll try that. Boulders, but right next to them, it's nothing. Yeah, these bushes are the worst, these thorns. Yeah, you're just gonna have to push your way through there. Yeah, just don't step yeah. off those boulders. <laughs> Go right. There? Yeah, and then go left through those to the trees right there. Yeah, take a left right there. Or no, up back here. Just go right through there, I think. A little flatter there. Oh yep. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, let's get up. that just kind of keep weeding yeah yeah say so you're left yeah Oop, you all right you all right yep. damn Woo. <laughs> just, just as we think you know we're walking through here we see this little overhang and got ourselves a rattlesnake. So just be careful where there's one, there's probably more. Yeah. Stay away from the overhang, let's not go by the wall. He's just chilling in the shade too, which is crazy. All right, guys, well, we finally made it. Danger. And it is an open shaft. It actually does drop down in here. I bring my, my flashlight. There's a big bat in there. It's been a minute since I've been in here, but uh, you can see that vein running right there. And years ago, I actually uh, was trying to work on it and pull some rock out, but all I had was a uh, a hand pick, like a miner's pick. And today I brought my uh, hammer drill 
So I don't know if I'm gonna try to get a little bit more specimens out of here or not. But finally made it. It's a little bit more washed out than I remember about eight to 10 years ago. And it's definitely a sketchier hike. So we'll see if I find anything. All right, so we actually are at the, the drop. So there is a shaft. It probably drops, what would you say, maybe 100 feet, maybe? It's pretty far down. Yeah, you can't. There's really no way to tell. We don't have a good flashlight, but it drops. Drops pretty low down there. Yeah, I'll kick a rock down there just to. That's it, it's like 100 feet, maybe. Somewhere like that. But, all right, I'm gonna dig right outside the portal. And then uh, maybe try a hammer drill on that little, that one spot. Just stay low and that bat won't bug you. Keeping the great view out just because I don't want to necessarily give this spot away. Have people damage it. It's pretty hard to find. I don't want people really knowing where it's at. So, anyways, I'm gonna do a little bit of digging in this pile here, see if I can find anything. I found a really good piece once, and then uh, I'll do a little bit of hammer drill in there and see if we can get anything out. All right, let me know when you're on. All right, guys, this is an Arizona whip scorpion. Just dug them up out of the hole. Uh, they usually, I don't think they bite <laughs> uh, humans. Uh, they're really after the insects. So there's one here. There's actually, I just see another one crawling around right now. So the last time I was digging in here, I came across an even bigger one, and I see another one right here. So it's like a whole family of them living in here. But uh, it's kind of rare to see. They like living in caves. And going after uh, all the insects. Got that one? Okay. Got a little pile going here. So, might be able to cut into those and actually get some good stuff. Get some good cabs out of those. That'll be a good one there. Got the white cords. So, Decent haul. I'm glad to finally get back up here and get some of that. Now for the hike out, huh? All right, guys. Well, Billy Azy Prospector, we're wrapping up uh, today. Hope you enjoyed coming along. I uh, finally made it out of there hiking. A um, lot hotter by now. It's going to be 90-something degrees today. So definitely time to get out here early before it's getting too, too hot. And uh, saw one more snake, not a rattlesnake, but one more snake coming out of there. Spooked us a little bit, but uh, man, Superstition Mountains, man, you can't beat them. Probably some of the best hiking in Arizona that you can do. If you ever come to Arizona, this is definitely where I would recommend coming out and getting a, a day hike in if you can, or if you can spend uh, more than that, you could do day hikes in here. Um, definitely want to check this place out. So hope you guys enjoyed this mine. I got a couple specimens. That'll be uh, for some future videos. Billy Z Prospector out. Catch you next time.